Since we did our last interview, obviously I went through a lot of things which people had said you were lying about. and you. I've dispelled a lot of them in the media afterwards, and I was able to get vindicated on at least some of them. I'm going to go through them just to, just to bring us up to speed, to see where we are with all this, right? So on schooling, you said you attended the prestigious Horace Mann School in New York for six months. The school said there was no record. Has that record emerged? Were you there? I'm sorry, no. You were never there? No. Why did you say you were? Well, the, the, at Horace Mann, there was an enrollment. There was a, you uh, weren't there. I was not there for various reasons. But you claimed you were. That's fine. Yeah, and, and I, I no, admit, I'm just curious why. I, I admitted afterwards that I was there. Yeah, I'm just curious why. Well, it's a long story, Pierce. Uh, is there a short version? No, there isn't really. Isn't it just that you lied? No, no, it's not just that I lied. There's a, there's a longer version of it. It's Try just, me. Pierce, it's, it's a Try long, me, George. It's, it's, it's a long story. I've got all day. Well, so do I. Does your camera? Does the, Absolutely. Does the, it, look, we'll get it, more film. It, it, has to do, it has to do with my parents getting, getting me a deal to enroll and then the whole thing falling through and then just not being able to afford it. So it was an enrollment. And yeah, but the lie it. was that you said you went there. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't go there. Business education. I've yeah. already cleared that up with you and with everyone else, right? So Business education. We established in our interview last time that you're claiming to have got a degree in economics and finance from Baruch College and a master's from New York University were both false. That hasn't changed, right? No. There's been no, that no. was false again. Uh, no, it has not changed. You just made it up. Uh, like we said last time. Any, any other reason that you want to share or was it just you made it up? No. Okay. You've claimed on your resume mm -hmm. that you worked in Wall Street. You then said it wasn't written by you is what you told me last it time. It was not. But by a staffer. You said to me, you have plenty of emails to prove you were uncomfortable with that. Have you produced those emails? Yes. And what do they establish? It just establishes that I'm not comfortable with the way the bio was written and the way the CV was written. That's that somebody all. was inventing a Wall Street career for you? Oh, no, no. Not inventing a Wall Street career. I worked in, in finance and capital markets for years. Mm. Let's establish that. Between Linkbridge Investors, Met Global, and um, uh, uh, Harbor City, even though Harbor City ended up being defunct after my departure, the reality is I did have the career. I did have the relationships. People like to say that I never worked a day in my life. That's a line that runs rampant. Did you work in Wall Street? Uh, well, in, in, in the sense of Wall Street on Wall Street proper, no. In that industry around surrounding Wall Street, mm. yes. Your Jewish an ancestry, you always claimed Jewish and Ukrainian ancestry and said your grandparents survived the Holocaust and fled persecution. When I quizzed you about that, in the last interview, you said you would battle this to your grave. And I will. And you said am. you'd ordered four DNA kits and were waiting on their return to confirm your ancestry. I have them. Have you used them? Uh, they're going to be used in a documentary, so they're embargoed. Right, so it's been I mean, nearly a year since you said you were going to do that. Well, I decided to do it in my own terms, and they're, they're, it's getting done. And you believe that DNA test will prove that you are I Jewish? I know it will. I know it will. I know it will, and I'm looking very much forward to it. Your mystery marriage certificate, you said you'd show me once the cameras stopped rolling, but you, you didn't. Uh, can you show me now? Is there a marriage uh, I, I probably have it, but I'm not going to show it to you You can't show me to Not on camera. I'll show it to you after it rolls, just remind me. Yeah? Yep. How long have you been married? Since November 20, uh, November 2021. This November, Who are you married to? Matt is his name. Who's Matt? Matt Santos. That's his last name. Matt Santos. Yep. I love that you guys are so intrigued with my spouse. Well, it's only because you've been married to women. Now well, married I was married to a woman. First, now you're married yes. to a man. Yeah, it's, well, it's interesting. Uh, but is that, is that very unique at all? Uh, no. Okay. That's not unique. It's at all, no, right? No, you've just it's been, quite frankly. You've just been very slow in being forthcoming about it. Uh, no, I'm not. I've always said I was married to a woman first. Mm. I mean, folks, folks who know me knew I was married. Mm. The problem is the media thought they knew me and they just wanted to create outrage. Nobody talks about that obsession about the media. No politician. You love has, being news. No politician has ever gone under I the I've never met name. anyone other than Donald Trump who loves being in the news you for know good, what? bad, and ugly reasons I, than you. I, ever. I don't like being in the news. So the, but oh, I've learned please, one thing. George Here's, I've learned one thing after Congress. You I've don't learned, like being in the news. I did not like it at first. Now I've learned one thing. Now you love it. Well, of course, it pays my bills. Right. <laughs> the so more when you say you don't like being in the news, me. actually, you love it. Back then, I did not like it. It was very off putting. Mm. I. When you run for office, you're running for office, but I don't think you quite comprehend everything else that comes with it and mm. all that 
lack of, I guess, privacy, you lose your privacy rights, essentially, right? So. We talked about your mother, who I know you were very close to. Um, you doubled down in our interview that she had died as a consequence of 9-11. But there's still no record of her ever working anywhere near the Trade Center. Um, no one's been able to find it. In fact, quite the opposite. They found evidence of visa applications showing she wasn't even in the country at the time. Do you want a and green card holder, visa application? That doesn't even And she make died sense. 15 years later, and there's no evidence she died of anything relating to what happened on 9 11. Well, look. So here's your chance to clarify. That's that. already been clarified in the documentary coming out later this year. Well, you can't keep saying you've got stuff in the documentary. But it is there, and I can't talk about it. Okay. I have a contract on it. But is your position that your mother still died as a result of 9 You'll see it in the documentary. And you'll oh, just ask the question. I can't answer it. That's ridiculous. I can't. It's, it's embargoed in the well, documentary. Well, your new position is I've got a documentary. I can't answer it. Well, no, no, not on everything. I've been giving you answers. There, there's things that are embargoed for the documentary. Mm. And I'm, I, I'd love for you to see it. Do you, do you accept that if you'd invented that, that would be pretty awful? Anybody who would invent something like that would be awful. So if you if you were constructed a story that your mother died Didn't because of 9-11. Pierce, let's put it this way. I would never construct anything about my mother. My mother was my best friend. Mm. My mother was my favorite human being. And the fact that I have to see people write and the vitriol around things, the disgusting things that people have called my mother and the disgusting things that people have said regarding what are they my called mother. Them? I mean, the disgusting garbage on social media. The most heartless people live on social media behind a screen. And the well, fact that I to have be, to see Look, that. I don't want to be fair to trolls, but what I would say about the criticism is that you initially implied to people your mother died in 9-11 and was in the towers. She was nowhere near the towers. She didn't work in the towers. She may not have even been in the country. Your documentary may well reveal the story about that, but certainly there's no evidence that your mother had anything to do with what happened on 9-11. You'll see, you'll see it in the documentary. I promise you. I promise you that. The Pulse nightclub, we talked about that again. We did talk about that. Um, that you said you lost four employees in the Pulse nightclub shooting. Can I, can I clarify something there? Mm. When I say four employees, not my employees. I didn't own the company. Mm. And the employees, and, and I, I doubled down. They weren't hired. They were in process. We, the company had just moved to Orlando, was in a massive hiring spree. And this was the information given to me at the time by the people up top in the company. Mm. And I maintained that position. I have no reason to infiltrate myself into a disaster like that, nilly-willy. And the great thing is, the records show I was in Orlando on that night. I was in Orlando that entire year, matter of fact, of 2016. Um, and it's, it's just so frustrating that people try to say, he said he owned the company. I never said I owned the company. When I work for a company... For instance, you work whatever station mm. you work for, whether it's Fox Nation or Sky News, you wear their shirt. At least I do. And I say, the company, my company. The criticism is, George, that people think that you've attached yourself to a lot of very big moments in history, whether it's your grandparents and the Holocaust, whether it's your mother and 9-11, whether it's the Pulse nightclub uh, mass shooting, that you have used these events to promote yourself in some way as being attached to these things to make yourself look better. That's How does that make you look better? Because they're saying that you were somehow involved in some way, that you're, you were the grandchild of Holocaust survivors, you were the son of there's a 9-11 of of survivor, and so on, that when in fact there's no evidence these things are true. Hundreds of thousands of people are associated to Holocaust descendants. Mm. How does that make anybody look better? It, well, it was it, a tragedy. No, but it's, it's a story that, that adds to your compelling personal narrative, unless it's untrue. Here's the most frustrating thing that happened to me last year was me losing my voice. That is something I could never uh, explain to you how frustrating it is. What do you mean losing your voice? My, my, my story was told by everyone in the media, all the talking heads. I never got You didn't lose your voice. Oh, I, you, you sure You didn't stop that? yapping all year. Oh, no, that's not true. It that's, is true. That's not true. I could yap all I want. I can talk all I want. But at the end of the day, everyone in the media had the final say. I never got the final say to anything. Nobody ever, nobody bothered to, to do any real digging. You in our interview doubled down on your denial you'd ever performed as a drag queen, despite pictures never of performed you as a drag queen. That one picture, mm. that one incident mm. in a carnival, when so I was 18 years old. So you old. did perform as a drag queen? I did not perform. I dressed up once. I was 18 years old. Come mm. on, Rudy Giuliani got motorboated by Donald Trump and nobody called him a career drag queen. <laughs> An assassination attempt, you said, happened on you. You said that there'd been that a is 
So there been translation. So, well, the Rachel Maddow show got the footage of the podcast where you made this claim, translated it word for word. You denied you'd ever said that you'd had an attempt on your life, an assassination attempt. In fact, the exact translation of what you said on that podcast in Brazil was, we have already suffered an attempt on my life, an assassination attempt. So you did say that. I did, and I suffered many more afterwards. Last year- Assassination there, attempts. There's, there is a man in, right now in trial or in the process of whatever it is the DOJ is doing in Florida for literally conspiring and telling us leaving a voicemail at my congressional office that he was going to kill me and my husband. Mm. And it was a serious, you know why it was serious? The man had a rap sheet. He had time he served or whatever the case was. He left the explicit voicemail and Capitol Police acted on it and the DOJ and the FBI. There were some things we didn't get around to I wanted to clear up. One was that you were a volleyball champion. You told a radio show in 2020, you were a star volleyball player at Baruch College. Well, we can all know where that ended up, right? Was that true? No. I you... played volleyball in high school, definitely not in college. Right. Were you at Baruch College? No. So you weren't there, let alone playing being a star volleyball, volleyball player. player. Yep. Yep. All of it was invented. Yep. Why, George? Oh, Pierce, there's so... The t hmm? I got to tell you, if I... You said you slayed Yale. Baruch's volleyball team well, they did. They actually did slay Yale, but I wasn't part of it. Baruch's volleyball team didn't even play against Yale in the period you claimed to have been there. They did, they did so play Yale at one point. So you were claiming to be a volleyball star for a college you never went to in a game where you slay Yale, even though they didn't play Yale in that period. Every single part of it was a whopper. Pretty much, yeah, unfortunately. Again, why? Here's the thing I don't really get about you, because you're very charismatic. You have a lot of qualities. I can see that. But, but can, you can you explain to people why you have been such an habitual liar, often for no reason? Pierce, it's, it's deeply rooted in the process of politics back in New York. I've said this so many times. <sighs> Oh, if only I could some things and sometimes I, I, I look, I'm not at the liberty of speaking of on certain things because again, I, I have an entire process with the DOJ ahead of me. So it'd be stupid, it'd be ill-advisable, and uh, I wouldn't do myself any favors. But there's some people think you have a sort of mental disorder. Uh, I don't. Have you I ever don't. have you ever had any treatment? First of all, I am not a pathological liar. Second of all, well, what do you think that means? Well, somebody who's lied for a living. Yeah, you have. But that's not true. But well, it's true. So, oh, so you're saying that out of my 35 years of existence, the, the stupidity of the last two years is going to make up for the entire of my entirety of my life? I would say that the litany of lies you told when you decided to run for office absolutely constitute pathological lies.